Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's Donders. As the sign says, we're at the waters of Philip. Lindsay's away for a walk and I'm doing some, some shots in and around the car park. That way, the footpath takes you down to the dunes. And what we're looking at now, with the reed beds, is the water of Philoth, a burn that runs down to the sea and fills the valleys with rushes and reeds. We'll try and get some pictures of that uh, not far away and uh, show you uh, the locale shortly. And although it's the equinox tomorrow, it is still cold. And there's Lindsay hiding behind the grasses at put sometimes. She's camera would focus on there's Lindsay climbing over the dunes. Last time we were here, I had a rest on that seat. Lindsay's going to disappear shortly. And we'll see her pictures as she gets back. The waters of Philoth, local nature reserve, lies at the eastern edge of Fraserburgh. The reserve incorporates the estuary of the River Philoth and the sand dune complex which is part of the larger Fraserburgh Bay sand dune system. There are also areas of reed bed, salt marsh and mud flats associated with the estuary. The waters of Philoth site is known for the diversity of its bird life, resulting from the range of habitats. Away from the exposed beach the sand dunes are more sheltered and contain a great variety of plants. As well as marram grass there are a lot of flowering plants such as ladies bed straw, northern marsh orchid and cowslip. The reserve can be visited at any time. Vehicle access is from the Fraserburgh to Inverallachie Road along a small rough surface track to the car park area.
Ken Bolg Castle is a Z-Clan castle situated in Ken Bolg, Aberdeenshire. It was described by Douglas Simpson as one of the nine castles of the Knuckle, referring to the rocky headland of northeast Aberdeenshire. It stands by the River Filleth and was originally known as Filleth Castle or Filleth House. The 17th century Filleth Castle at Elplan House consisting of a sizeable crow-stepped block was demolished after a fire in 1915. The castle was built in the early 14th century but destroyed in the winter of 1308-1309 in the Wars of Independence. After being owned by the Commons up until 1375, it was subsequently granted to the Earl of Ross. It was rebuilt in 1380 after the daughter of the 5th Earl married Sir Alexander Fraser of Cowie. In 1545, a second round tower, a courtyard and outbuildings were added to the original main square tower. In 1613, after nearly bankrupting themselves, the Frasers of Phyllis sold the castle, which, after passing through several other families of the Fraser clan, including the Frasers of Durris, ended up in 1775 with George Gordon, 3rd Earl of Aberdeen, who removed anything of value. Catherine Fraser, mistress of Saltoon, took possession of the castle in 1997.
thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.